All right, big day out on the farm today. It's all about the goats. So over this past week, we learned something about the uh, urine that comes from them and the ammonia smell that develops that I'll go tell you about when we go take a look at their barn stall. But it's about cleaning out their barn stall, getting them set up on a slightly different regimen for their, uh, for their bedding materials. And we're just gonna get them all cleaned up today. Let's go. So when people ask me about my farm journey and what we're trying to achieve with the goats on our farm, we have two Nubian uh, billy goats, is, um, you know, what I tell people is right now, my only goal with the goats is to keep them alive through the winter. Right now, I'm not worried about breeding them. I'm not worried about having does and you know milking them. I'm purely concerned about just trying to keep the goats alive through the winter. And so something interesting happened this weekend that kind of ch challenged that is um, over the Christmas holiday, we actually got a, quite a bit of cold weather, got some snow, and it's been raining a lot. And, 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 and goats just simply don't like the, that weather. You know, usually if it's raining out or snowing out, they'll run, for, you know, they'll get into, get into some cover so that they can not get wet, you know, and, and it makes sense, right? Because if they get wet and then the cold wind, that could actually develop pneumonia. So, you know, so as a result of all this, you know, crummy weather is I've been keeping them in the barn stall a lot more than normal. You know, what was interesting is over the last week, though, as I'm walking into the barn stall, I'm realizing, hey, this just doesn't seem right. It doesn't feel right. You know, what's going on? And I would look at the ground. You know, I got we got a nice roof overhead. It doesn't leak. But the ground was wet. It was wet and it looked ranked and it just didn't look good. So, so I, you know, all week it's been kind of bothering me, like, what the hell's going on? Why is the ground wet in the barn stall? I got straw all throughout the barn stall, and it just looked really bad. Well, when I brought the goats in last night, I stuck my head in, and I let them in, and boom, it hit me. Just a wall of am ammonia smell, ammonia smell. Yes, they're urine. They are prolific peers. I have learned that now. And so because I've been keeping them in the barn stall so much more than normal, over the summer months, they were only in the barn stall at night. And so they didn't pee that much and I could go a whole quarter without having to change out their bedding material. But now that I've been keeping them in the stall, it's, it's, it's so much more. And so as a result, I now realize I have to clean out their bedding and I have to come up with a better approach because straw makes for lousy bedding. It does not absorb the urine. We got the problem of we got, we got uh, dirt, dirt ground, you know, so, so I have to find a way to absorb it. So let's take a look at the strategy I have for this. So when I started researching on Google the best way to manage uh, the ammonia smell in urine, came across this um, um, horse stall sweet PDC refresher. And it's specially formulated to uh, absorb urine and eliminate the ammonia smells. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this. I got two bags of it, but I'm only going to need a bag to begin with. And I'm going to sprinkle it on, you know, once I clean out all the old straw and the, get all the, you know, gunk out, I'll sprinkle this down on the dirt. And that'll form like the base layer. So that's like if urine actually gets down to the dirt, hopefully it hits this and, you know, and this will help gather the urine. It neutralizes the ammonia, controls the smell, and it makes it easier to clean up. And instead of putting straw down, I'm actually going to switch over to pine shavings. Why not? I mean, they're, they're softer, they absorb urine. So with the, with the uh, PDC um, you know, fresh uh, stall refresher and then having some premium pine shavings here, um, I should be able to create a nice base layer that will be absorbent of any additional urine. So now the idea is part of my new routine will be as I come in and feed the goats or I take them to the pasture, or I take them from the pasture, I will check out the, you know, the barn stall, uh, the, the flooring and I'll, I'll pick up any uh, wet spots and then I'll put some more of the PDC down and then I'll put more pine shavings down and then I'll be working a little more proactively at keeping the barn stall, um, you know, urine free and, you know, sm smelling good for them. And as, as I was doing the research, I, I, I found out that, you know, the ammonia smell is actually pretty toxic towards uh, livestock. You know, um, it actually can create a lot of respiratory illnesses in livestock uh, to the point where vets were saying that about 25% of their livestock, um, you know, patients are because of respiratory issues because of stalls that were not cleaned properly and they had some kind of respiratory distress because of the ammonia. So it, it's pretty important to, you know, take care of this. I now know, I didn't know, as a, you know, former, former suburban liver, you know, now farmer, I, you know, I didn't realize the importance of keeping a clean stall and keeping the ammonia smell down and keeping the urine out of there. So we got a big job. Let's take a look at what we got to do. All right. The first thing I got to do here is this bench. 
So I created this bench for the goats to lie on, so that way they didn't have to sit on the dirt, you know. And from what I've heard about goats, they like sitting up on things um, when they sleep at night. So this is, I, I do sweep it off and get their poop off of it every night, but it's still, it's been building up because there's some that I just don't get off. So first thing I'm gonna do is uh, get that power washed. And then right here over my shoulder is the hay feeder I have. I'm gonna just take that hay feed, go spread it out in the chicken coop and get it out of here because while they do go through it about once, a, once every two days, I'm just gonna get it out and clean it out because it has a lot of the ammonia smell in it, I figure. So I'm just gonna get it out of here, move that out. And then you got all the muck. So you can see the ground here, it's full of straw and hay. Gotta get rid of it, um, shovel it out, take it out to the compost pile. And uh, then I'll bring the PDC refresher in, spread it on the ground, bring in the pine shavings, and then we're gonna have a nice new clean stall for my goats. Got a lot of work to do, time to go. All right, let's just check in here. So got all the hard work done, got the mucking out, and that was freaking nasty. I mean, just the amount of ammonia and pee and just, it, it was bad. I, I, you know, we missed the mark here, but we've caught it. I think we're taking the right corrective action. Had some friends come over who know a lot more about goats than I did, and they kind of reaffirmed what we were doing and offered a few other suggestions, you know, for long-term care, but we're right on track, so let me get this, uh, get the, the stall refresher laid down and I'll uh, show you what that is. All right, so I assume I did that right. I mean, I read the instructions and uh, the YouTube videos I saw, I think I just kind of spread it out um, and let it do its job, uh, work. I mean, it, it really does smell bad in here. <laughs> I mean, um, hopefully this is airing it all out and it'll uh, come around. Next up, the pine shavings. All right, so got the pine shavings put down. I don't know how wide this is. I think this is about 10 feet uh, by about 14, maybe 16 feet. So I put that down five or four bags of the pine shavings. I think that gives a good first coverage. Uh, I ended up not power washing the bench, uh, mainly because I didn't want the ground to get wet because it's the winter time. I was worried about it drying out, you know, by the time the goats come back in here this evening. So I went ahead and just scraped it off really well, and I think it came pretty clean. I'll, uh, once uh, the, the smell kind of settles down a little bit, I'll put some more hay in there, and I'll bring the goats in, and I think they'll take it. And that wraps it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I learned a little bit. Uh, you know, you really do got to take care of your livestock. Um, they do not care for uh, ammonia, and that can actually make them very sick. Uh, the amount of smell that came up when I shoveled this out was pretty horrendous. Um, but, you know, it's a heck of a lot better now. Uh, let this settle in. I'll bring the goats in this evening, and uh, I think we'll be back on track. Have a good one. Later. I think the new bedding material is goat approved. They're sitting there having a good old time playing with each other. All right, boys.